Did you know that we can represent subtraction by using pictorial models, number lines, and equations? Last lesson, we learned how to represent addition using pictorial models, number lines, and equations. In this video, I will show you how to subtract. Let's take a look at the following word problem. Jim had $475. He went to the store and bought a video game that cost $199. How much money does he have left? Since we're being asked how much money Jim has left, and we know that he spent money at the store, this means he has less money and we need to subtract. We can represent both numbers through pictorial models using our understanding of place value. In the number 475, we have 5 groups of 1, 7 groups of 10, and 4 groups of 100. In the number 199, we have 9 groups of 1, 9 groups of 10, and 1 100. Since we're subtracting from the number 475, this number will be placed at the top. Now we can subtract within each place value starting at the ones place. Since we cannot subtract 9 from 5, we need to regroup and move 110 to the ones place. We now have 15 ones. We can subtract 15 minus 9, and that leaves us with 6. In the tens place, we need to subtract 9 from 6. Since we do not have enough tens to subtract 9 from 6, we will regroup and move 1 100 to the tens place. We now have a total of 16 groups of 10. 16 minus 9 is equal to 7. We can now subtract 100 from 300. 3 minus 1 leaves us with two groups of 100. Our final answer is 276.